okay and I'm a late bloomer. When you have a small urban garden and you're determined to use every square foot, transitioning from season to season can be challenging. Here are a few tips. First things first, all those cool season veggies have to come out. When things get uprooted, prepare for company. Some are welcome. Some are not. Some are even friendly. Others you want to keep your distance. I'm not trying to show off. I just like bugs. <laughs> when you're planning your garden, the first thing you want to do is study how the sun moves over your house. This can determine your winter and summer exposure and be your planting guide. You may find that your best sun is in the front yard, like I did. You always want to plant tall things in the back so they don't block sun from the shorter plants, especially important in winter when the sun is lower in the sky. The middle of March, I had our rotten fence around the front porch removed. Suddenly, we could look out at the garden from our porch. There were two main reasons we decided to invest in a new fence. To keep dogs out of my veggies, and because if you're a front yard gardener, your front yard often is in transition and looks like this. A border fence gives your front yard an orderly look. Since there's a six inch drop between the property line and the driveway, I decided to level it to match the fence and shore it up the plateau with the old fence rail and the leftover new redwood. Then I planted three tomato plants in the back, giving them plenty of space. Because of the hard lessons, the very hard lessons I learned last year about watering tomatoes, I buried 14 inch sections of perforated drain pipe by three of the tomato plants. And I finally planted those two zucchinis in the raised bed and more potatoes in pots. It's May the 5th, the irrigation pipes are laid, and it's going to rain tomorrow. I've got to get the rest of the summer seeds in. Observation is really key to the success of a garden. About three days ago, I was sitting outside contemplating the sun as it goes over my front yard and realized there was too much sun in this spot right here to let it go to waste. I had a little help <laughs> digging this up and amending this soil but I'm going to plant sugar baby bicolor corn with a shorter growing season of 65 days. This is really important in a coastal microclimate. Two seeds, one to one and a half inches down. <sighs> okay, that's done. <sighs> you know, we did the back 40, the plateau, flowers all around, the cucumbers, the okra, the beans. What else did we do today? <laughs> By growing food, not lawns, <laughs> you make your front yard productive. You contribute to the soil bed. You capture the rainwater. It's a win-win situation. And best of all, you get to eat it. For more info about starting your first garden, download my free ebook at latebloomershow.com. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. You're going to love your dirt. Really? I heard Tuesday in my brain. No. Tuesday it might rain. That's it's got to rain tomorrow. Yeah, That's why I did all that work. No.